Hey guys, you're watching BTECT, I'm Basil and this is a run through of the UI of the Google Pixel XL running Android 7.1 Nougat. It's being recorded on the Pixel XL, we can pull down AZ Screen Recorder, it's an awesome application. It won't be indicative of the frame rate, it'll be a lower frame rate than what I'm actually seeing. But you'll still be able to gauge what it looks like and of course the audio is being recorded on the microphone of the Pixel XL, so you'll be able to gauge how the mics perform too. Right, you've got a home screen, this is a user journey. Journey. and if you pull up from the home screen you're going to get your applications tray at the top you can search your apps you can also see your most used or frequently installed applications and scroll down a really really nice grid of your apps because it's making great use of that 5.5 inch display on the pixel XL you can see if I pull down the bar on the right hand side I can expand the letter and clearly find the app that I'm after or I can just throw it on my home screen standard Android style pinch the home screen, you get an overview of your apps, but you also get some shortcuts to wallpapers, and you can see the wallpapers are categorized. They are semi-dynamic wallpapers, so um, they actually move a little bit when you turn the phone on. Pinch out, you can also control your widgets and your settings as well. Settings are very rudimentary. App suggestions, show Google app and allow home screen rotation. I've clearly got my home screen rotated, allow, um, so I'm allowing that. Google now to the left hand side doesn't work because I'm currently in Shanghai, as you can see. Um, I'm in a hotel room, I'm not floating, I just have myself positioned here so I could pull that shot up um, and you've also got um, to the right hand side or the bottom if you're watching in portrait or using it in portrait um, you've got five icons as well. What's cool about those five icons is the fact that um, there is no applications tray shortcut so you can have an additional one over. Now you may have seen that I pressed that. Um, by pressing that, long pressing it, you can actually do a force touch type effect. This only works on proprietary applications at the moment um, and a lot of the time it kind of confuses me as to whether I'm going to force touch it or whether I'm going to kind of drag an application icon so that's a little bit weird it doesn't work as intuitively as force touch on an iPhone but it's still nice to have and also suggests in future with Android supporting this that third-party creators like Huawei etc and their P9 plus and their force touch type app um, feature can be better utilized right pull down from the top and you can see you've got a notification shade pull down further and you've got all your quick toggles expanded the notification shade has got as you can see right up at the top um, a few key quick toggles. These quick toggles expand and can take additional pages and what's also very cool is that they are indeed editable. You can see I've actually got the Easter egg. It says chicken. If I tap through on that, um, actually let me get out of editing mode. If I tap through on that I can create an empty dish. The Easter egg is you effectively go on a cat hunt. You put a dish or a meal on your dish and eventually a uh, cat will pop up and you have to collect them all. Right, jumping into the settings and you can see there are two key categories, all and support. Google really wants you to know that you're handheld throughout this experience, so um, they've provided a lot more support than in old Nexus devices. They're putting this forward as something not just for the geeks. Wireless networks, so Wi-Fi right through to network settings. There is nothing new here. Um, you've also got device, information and details um, you've got moves so this is something that's new you've got a gesture centric fingerprint scanner so it's like the Huawei one so I can pull down once uh, to expand and twice to um, expand the notification the quick toggles um, unlike the Huawei one you can't double tap to clear it though uh, jumping out of that you can see you can also jump to the camera by double tapping the home button from wherever and you can flip from the front to the back camera with a wrist flick as with the Moto X um, that would fire up the camera on the Moto X now as far as the additional settings go it's all very very standard compared to what we've seen before I'm just quickly gonna jump in to the about phone section so that you can see exactly what it is I'm running and with that I'm pretty much gonna call it a wrap I would talk about the camera UI but I've actually done a whole video around that so if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out if I've missed out anything or there's anything in particular you want me to test out be sure to let me know and if you're thinking wait you haven't done the most important thing Google Assistant I kind of have a little bit head over to instagram.com forward slash btech and you can see a video um, explanation as to my experience with Google Assistant in Hong Kong. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, all that jazz, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.